am here to bring you a first impression of the Pure Mineral Glitz and Glam Holiday Collection, obviously from Pure Minerals. I've never bought anything from Pure Minerals before, but we made a little Ulta trip today because, you know, I was feeling a little bit down. Uh, so today, someone I know or something I know, I'm not going to name any names, not at all. No names. Zero. Decided to make a chew toy out of something brand new that I just got <sighs> for my terrible eyesight. There's nothing better than lensless and crapped up designer glasses that you just bought after five years of not buying new glasses. But once again, we're not naming names. So the Pure Minerals Holiday Glitz and Glam Artist Palette for Eyes. And I saw it really fast and it looked really interesting to me because I've never bought anything from Pure Minerals. And it just looked like something that I would dig the colors of because I wasn't even gonna buy anything. I was just looking to make myself feel better. And I was looking at the palettes and I want all of the holiday palettes, of course, from like Too Faced and all that jazz. I was looking at the Urban Decay Vice palette, but I only have the Vice one, so I feel weird about buying another Vice without having the other ones. And I was like, you know what? I've never bought anything from Pure Minerals. They were really kind of tickling my fancy, so uh, it's a $38 value. So it was 40 something after tax in my area. So let's just get started. Let's take a look at this sucker. Oh, this stretches. The bow on it stretches mm, a little bit. See, this is part stretchy. I wonder if you could wear it as a headband. Probably not on my giant honker. And I feel like it's called the Day and Night Palette. These two volume limited edition books contain 16 crease-free shades to create your own story. Each book, one designed for day, the other for night, includes eight velvety eyeshadows that will add a little glam to your day and a little glitz to your night. So, on the back, it has the names. This is the Day Palette. And, ooh, there's a little thing of water. What I love about it is it just is so neutral and it comes in quads. I just thought it was such a fun neutral palette. And to me, it almost looks like what the Naked 3 basic should be to go with the Naked 3 palette. You know how like the Naked 1 kind of goes in conjunction with the Naked Basics 1 and the Naked 2 kind of goes in conjunction it's cooler with the Naked 2 palette? This looks like it would be the Naked Basics for the Naked 3. Am I right or am I right? I mean these are all... Uh, you have Allure, Hope, Whisper, Charm, Desire, Wonder, Reflection, and Reverie. Allure right there. Or Allure. Someone said that. Reflection and Reverie are all satiny. This Reverie looks a little glittery, but they're all matte. Oh no, Wonder has some. But I believe it's supposed to be that there's a quad. Like this is the highlight, and then these are the, this is the um, lid color, and you have a highlight crease shade. And so this is for day. I really like the color Allure. Allure, Allure. Because it looks like a, it's a pinky, kind of mauvey, shimmery color. I feel like it would make a pretty blush topper more than an eyeshadow. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna wear it as an eyeshadow. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Colors in the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette. Ooh, the mattes are so creamy. Let's do Whisper here. Sorry, I have ponytail holders on my wrist. Desire is so cool toned. It's like a mauve gray. These are really, really creamy. The mattes are really nice. Charm is like a pinky. Okay, I'm really kind of digging this. Now that I've swatched and destroyed the brand new palette, you saw it in all its goodness and glory. Now we've destroyed it together. Reflection's like a goldy, coppery color. I mean, that one's not my favorite, but it'd be fun to blend out with that. Yeah, this is the day palette. I really think this would make an awesome neutral day look, for, especially for someone so fair skinned as myself. Do you think I'm fair skinned? The day palette is white, and just be careful because there is another um, set you can get in it, and it comes with a blush palette, which if you're into that, go for it. But I'm going to show you what in store drew me to the night palette. The top four in this palette, oh my god, needed. 
needed. This just screams autumn, Thanksgiving, holiday y to me, these four colors. It's entice, paradise, passion, treasure, breathless, obsession, crave, and addiction. Entice, blah, blah, blah. And um, they're all shimmery, I believe. Breathless looks a little matte. Breathless is like a, it's like a taupey, whitey gray. Okay, is that even coming up on camera? It's a very strange color. That's breathless. It's almost like a grayish, whitish taupe. Kind of like a, uh, some, a wet cement, no, a dry cement color. Wet cement is dark and vague. <laughs> But what really drew this to me is like, yeah, this is cool down here. Oh my gosh, a black. I've never had a palette with one of those before. That's the one thing I wish they would really take out of palettes is the blacks. Actually, that sounds really pretentious because it's like some people don't own palettes. They buy one palette and they love the black. I just, I'm sick of owning. Then we'll do Entice right there. Ooh, Entice is not coming up as much as I wanted to. So this is Entice. This will be Paradise. This will be Passion, which I'm really excited for. Ugh. And this will be Treasure. Oh my god, those are so pretty. I was so excited for those. So I'm so excited. And I just can't hide you. I'm not gonna lie. Passion, this like red burnt crazy folly color is making me tingle in every place of my body and not in a weird way. Minerals, I think you can get pure minerals at Ulta online and at Kohl's I believe but I just thought this for night palette and that for the day palette was just a cool concept and I just thought it was a lot of colors that I haven't really worked with before like this wet cement color is a little different these four colors together all shimmery I just thought are really pretty and cool these down here they're not really you know not really getting me anywhere but the day palette I really think I'll enjoy for really neutral looks I think it'll be cool to blend stuff out with there's really cool toned things in there even though I'm like digging the warm tone stuff right now but it's like a really cool toned mauve palette the day palette is called Daydream and the night palette is called Night Fantasy and like I said I think my favorite part of this for the first impression is this is like a mauve but warm and cool toned um, not just a crazy pink glitter bomb which you know Naked 3 is to a lot of people but I think this is a good companion Naked palette and then the Night Fantasy palette like I said I'm most excited <laughs> I am most excited for those top folly fun shimmery shades and I'm pretty excited for this color here too. I feel like that'll be fun to like really blend something out, the breathless shade. Down here, I feel like it's kind of, you know, your generic gunmetal, purple, and black. But I'm excited to try this, so maybe there'll be a further review coming up past the first impression, because I don't know their blendability. I don't know their staying power. I've never owned pure mineral shadows, so this is also new to me. So I'm pretty excited. So, you know, can't have enough holiday palettes, and I can't wait to enjoy these palettes and get it going with some looks. Obviously, I didn't do one today because it's 12 something at night, and I just wanted to put on some makeup and film a first impression. Yay! Before I dug my grimy little fingers into them, and it would never be perfect. Never be perfect again. So you got to de-perfectionize them with me. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great night. And just so you know, this is $38. It says it's a $205 value, so we'll see about that. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Look at that puppy. Oh, nice glasses. Well, that's my favorite thing about Harry Potter is you can tell that he has no lenses in his glasses. Do, they, do your reflection.